is going on everybody we're back with another post commentary from a game that i played last night on stream as you see my opponent's top three jerry rice andrew luck ricky williams you see my top three as you can tell by the settings on the field and the emblems this is my opponent's super bowl and not only is it his super bowl it's also my wild card round so if he wins i'm sure this might be his first super bowl or something like that he gets 5,000 training all the trophies and the coins and all the rewards that come with it and um he wraps up a full season and if I lose, I have to start over a brand new season all over again. So I don't know what's worse, to make it to the Super Bowl and lose and have to start all the way over or to not even make it to the Super Bowl but be in the playoffs and lose. So there's big stakes here for both of us. Another thing I noted, this is the first time I've played in a Super Bowl. I haven't made it to a Super Bowl, um, and I haven't played anybody in their Super Bowl. But there are five-minute quarters. As he baited us right there. I had the corner out wide open. He sprinted over there and kind of left it. If I just stayed on that read, I got to hit the dot, and he baited us in. I didn't know if that was more luck or skill, but at the time, he got me, and I didn't think he was going to jump back down on that route. One thing I didn't know, like I said, this is my first Super Bowl, that the Super Bowls are five-minute quarters. And I was in stream talking to people. I'm like, guys, is this – are the Super Bowls normally five-minute quarters? And everybody was confused because I was like, I'm pretty sure Mutt Games are four-minute quarters. I did some research today, and I found out that Super Bowls are five-minute quarters, which to me is, is ass cheeks. I, I like – if. I mean, I'm sure it's great if you're trailing. You get a whole pretty much extra four minutes of gameplay if you take a minute from each, but I'd rather it just be four minutes. It's right here. I don't know how he breaks that sack and then almost completes the pass, but we're able to stand up tall on defense like I've been saying all of that. My defense is amazing. I put my defense up there with a lot of people, especially my user skills as well. I'm just way, way, way too conservative on offense, and when I try to come break outside the box, I throw interceptions, so... It kind of stifles me like I'll be able to show you guys my seasons um, and I only let up people I, people only score about this this just pissed me off right here how is Deion Sanders getting caught who is that Micah Hyde how how someone explain that to me please but if you look at my points scored and points against and if you just look at my season that I have up right now I, I average giving up between six and ten points six and twelve points is Michael Vick Oh, that hurts my heart that he missed that pass. So I only give up about two field goals to about a touchdown and a field goal a game. But I only score about thirteen to about 10 to 13 points, which is terrible. I need to stop being so afraid to just pass and just start passing more and be more comfortable. And I feel like I'll be able to take more chances and kind of get better. So we're approaching halftime here. We've got four minutes left in the second quarter. As we were able to get some good pressure on him this game, which I was actually proud of for once because we've been struggling with Hita's fourth and nine. Oh, man. I was hoping A.J. Boye would play that a little bit better than he did, and he didn't. So it's real unfortunate that we weren't able to get that, but, I mean, it could be a lot worse. As long as we're able to hold him to three, it won't be such a bad scenario. It's right here. We force a fourth and 19, forcing him to punt. So, again, A.J. Boye didn't make that play. But we did force a stop and we're able to get the ball back. I've been getting real good returns with Deion Sanders in the punt and the kick return game. I'm averaging like a return every other game, which is great for me because at the beginning of the year, the way that I was trying to learn the new running mechanics, I couldn't figure out how to run anything back at all. It's first and 10 right here. I still, still even watching this back, I couldn't tell if he actually had run defense or if he was just getting really lucky with like strafing up in block sheds. I guess since he was able to kind of contain us all game, it's fourth and two right here. I had things opened, and by that time, that route was just way too late. We should have never thrown it, but I did, and we give him the ball back with a short field, and instead of us getting points before half, he gets points before half, and I'm pretty sure he ends up getting ball at half, which he does. So we're coming in the second half. We're down by three. My defense is playing their hearts out. My offense just can't keep up. There's a lot of pressure on me. People are going off on me in the stream. <coughs> this is this man's Super Bowl. So, like, I'm feeling a lot of pressure. Not only am I feeling pressure as far as me being in the playoffs and, like, if I lose, I'm out type stuff. I don't want to give somebody the satisfactory <laughs> of winning a Super Bowl at all. Like, if I play, if every game I played was somebody's Super Bowl, it's going to make me focus and play 10 times harder than I actually would. And that's what I'm really trying to do here. And I'm trying to win a Super Bowl of my own. So I need to win this game. And uh, we're doing a pretty decent job on defense. Like I say, we always do. It's just offense needs to pick it up. It's right here. I'm trying to get loose with Deion Sanders. We're not able to get loose. 
but we are putting stops on defense. I think that's our second or third punt forced of the game, so we're doing pretty good. Second and nine right here. We drop back. We're looking. That's supposed to be my first read, and again, like I said, I'm always looking for the deep play downfield um, when I had this last play. So I called the same exact play with the same exact routes. We hit Tyreek Kill slanting across the middle. Third and five right here. We drop back. We're looking. Vic finally hits that pass that I threw in the first half that he sailed to like the third row. He ends up hitting it right there, so I score a touchdown. And if you were in stream with me, the three games before this, we didn't score a touchdown in three straight games, bro. Almost a total of what? That's four, eight, 12, almost 16 plus quarters is right there. Gotta get alerted one time. Miles Jack, just the amazing user right there. We're able to score a touchdown. I don't know how he got back up off the ground right there and tackled me when he already dove, but that's another story for another day. Third and eight right here. I was just kind of playing it safe because I figured... He only has six. If I take three, which I did, I didn't want to show you guys the time of me taking the field goal. He has a score touchdown to win this game. This last drive right here was the most stress-induced thing I've ever seen. He calls a screen, gets the most amazing blocks I've ever seen in my life. And if I don't click on right there, he takes that to the house. So we're coming up on the two-minute warning. He is on my 18-yard line trying to drive in. He needs a touchdown or he loses his Super Bowl right there. I cannot believe, A, I didn't get any animation. B, he holds on to that pass. Absolutely upsets me. First and goal right here. We stop him. Great play by me. Third and goal. The audacity that Madden lets him catch that ball really upsets me. But I still have a timeout in 30 seconds. All I need is a field goal. Right there, we throw an absolute dot. I'm in field goal range. And what am I doing? I drop back and I get sacked. So I have to use my timeout. What do I do again after that? I drop back and I'm pretty sure I end up getting sacked again. Oh no, they gave me the, what? what is that? What is that animation? Somebody please tell me what LaShawn McCoy's animation was right there because I could I didn't even get the chance to rack it. He just stopped running. And again, that's bad play calling by me. I was on the 42 yard line. So I was looking at a 59 yard field goal as spoiler alert, we don't score before overtime. <laughs> just letting you guys know. So I had the ball at the 42. We're looking at a 59 yard field goal and I have one timeout. I have to come out and run that ball. Even if I can pick up five yards, uh, 10 yards at all, we call a timeout and we kick the field goal, and we're able to win that game, and we're not. So the hell game and the stress that this game has already been is going to overtime. And not only is it going to overtime, but we ended up losing the coin toss as well. So we had to kick off to him. You guys know, if you watch football, Madden has the same overtime rules as the NFL does. First person to score a touchdown wins if you get the ball first, unless... You get the ball second, then you only need a field goal to win, and it's only a field goal needed after that. It's second and two right here. We bait the slant, and we pick it off, and I'm at midfield. I need 10 yards, and this is a chip shot field goal. And what do we do? We get our 10 yards. So you're thinking game should be over. No, for some reason, I don't know why. I started calling tosses. I don't know why I started calling tosses. Right there, we gained three yards. And what do I do? I toss it again. He gets the best penetration I've ever seen and end up losing four yards. So we have to kick a 55-yard field goal. And my field goal's kick, my kicker's power is right at 55-54. So the arc is telling me we're good. If I miss this field goal, he gets the ball pretty much at midfield. I get full power, great accuracy, and we miss the kick. So all he needs is a field goal. As you see, I'm so shook, I don't even pick my play for like a good 20 seconds. Um, he he scores a field goal, he wins. The next next score wins, field goal or whatever. Right here, look at this. I haven't used Sean Taylor all game, right? I wanted to bait him because he kept throwing screens and streaks from the slot on the same side of the field. He'd either screen or streak. So I'm like, let me try something here. Hadn't done this all game. I take Sean Taylor, I come down, I wait. Give me that. That's mine, coach. That's mine. I hadn't shown him that adjustment all game. I kept trying to sprint out there with my linebacker. It's right here. I'm like, you know what? No more playing conservative. I'm not going to run it. No, no, no. Get this chunk play. Get the first down and kick this. If Michael Vick sails it, he absolutely sails it. I call the same exact play because I'm so peed off, but he wants to make that throw. Like, bro, what are we actually doing? <laughs> We're able to make that throw. I run one more play just to get as close as I can. After this, after that stumble, and I was like, oh my god, we might fumble. I kick my three. Spoiler alert. We end up winning the game, denying this man his Super Bowl. If he's in all Madden, denying him a diamond player, denying him 500 training. The confetti is raining down. We're able to get the victory. 
people were going off in the chat when we made those two user plays there at the end of the game in overtime. We had two user picks in overtime, um, and luckily we were able to capitalize. If it wasn't for my defense, I would be getting blown out because I'm not putting pressure on anybody to score any points. I'm playing great defense, but when you put up six points, no one feels pressure. They're not going to take chances. They're not going to stop running the ball when they're only down six and it's the middle of the third quarter. I got to get better on offense. I need to start putting the foot on people's throats when I'm getting these stops and score 10, 17, 21, making people abandon everything and just start calling five wide receivers. As he ends up sending us a message message saying good game, I thought he was going to say something <laughs> real snappy, but he didn't. He just said good game. We ended up um, saying good game to him as well. But we made great adjustments there. We were able to lurk him twice, especially there in overtime, showing him that look that I hadn't shown him all game. He probably thought he had a bullet streak to Jerry Rice and probably thought he'd get it for the win because Jerry Rice will probably take that if he catches it. If he lobs that, he probably burns us, but he bullets it. Most people do, especially when you've gotten sacked earlier in the game. We were able to come up big. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a hell game, sweaty game. And since it was five-minute quarters, the game lasted like an hour and 15 minutes. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but by the time this video is uploaded, we should be, again, live on Twitch. So check the link in the description. If I post a pinned comment, I'm live. So if you see this video and the comment is still up, I'm live on Twitch, guys. Come rock with us. We'll be playing some Madden tonight. Deuces.